Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Ecliptic Spiritualist channel. I'm Ranita, so let's get it in on this Friday, Friday, yay. yay. <laughs> We're almost done with this month of September, so we've had a lot of aspects that have been going on right from the summer. So let's, now we're entering into the autumn equinox, so let's get it in in this tarot reading. You're going to see that with this reading, you will see how um, things are tying in from pretty much the beginning of 2019 till actually now. We're going to talk a little bit about that because we're wrapping up some things as these planets are squaring off and merging in and how does it roll into the readings and how it has affected our lives. So drum roll, please. Now, what do the divine and spirit guides and angels have to say to us today? Well, we have got the queen of pentacles or some... Dex, it says the Queen of Coins. And we also have the Queen of Swords, which is our clarifier. Now, sometimes these readings will resonate with you and sometimes they will not. Keep in mind that they are a general reading. But if you have been following throughout the whole week, especially if you've been part of this tribe since the beginning of the year, and especially this summer, you'll start seeing things recycle themselves and confirming things and telling us, hey, what direction we're going. One of our family members mentioned down in comments how she heard this same message the other day, not this message today, but the message from yesterday, uh, two months ago, and she's like, wow, there, there's, there." They're shifting and coming back and tell us. So it's very important to follow the daily readings on a daily basis. Re it'll resonate with you. You'll journal it and it will guide and direct your life. So in saying that, with the Queen of Pentacles here, your attention and your gifts, okay, and your talents has, well, it's brought in um, a lot of economical great outlooks. So you're, you've been attentive to your gifts and talents. You've been working it. You've been modifying your talents and gifts. You've been learning more, adjusting it to perfect what your craft is. All right. So this is brought in some financial abundance. Um, now, and also this also includes because you've been working in this area, you actually have been have a giving nature as well so that has caused you to bring in increase and act a great economical outlook too as you have given to others due to your talents and your gifts okay so that's the queen of pentacles however as i clarify a card for the queen of swords the queen of swords there is also to a little bit of sadness that you have had um you've had and that is still going on um you are having a good outlook but you've had some sadness still wrapping around because it's been due to um family growth or not having the childbirth that you uh, wanted or increase in family numbers or relationships so there's still a a sadness a subsidiary of sadness lingering energy around you but it's okay, you know, it is okay. You are still having a good outlook, but it's okay to still have those feelings. But in time, it will subside, okay? It will subside. Just let it go and continue to release as you have been doing because things will shift, but it does take time. So we've got um, Jupiter. Let me tell you a couple of things that's going on that's causing some some of these things that's going on. We have Jupiter and Neptune. They finally have squared off, okay? So they've been connecting off and on throughout 2019. If you want more details about the astral forecast on how the planets do, comment down below. You can always go to the weekly astrological forecast on our blog at Ecliptic Spiritualist 7 at blogspot.com. But getting back to that, um, they've been squaring off and reconnecting off and on all years. Like, how you doing? Hey, Jupiter. Hey, Neptune. How you doing? See you later. It's kind of been like that all year. They've been passing each other and saying hello and goodbye and just kind of hollering at each other a little bit. But now they're squaring off, so they're right with each other like that square. So in saying that, um, because they've been kind of passing each other, Jupiter and Neptune 
have been encouraging us all year. And we've been feeling this vibe because I know the readings have come across as such as that. Is that it's been encouraging us to be disciplined, encouraging us to trust our intuition. That's been a big one all year. And also step into our truth to be more, uh, more authentic in your own way. So Neptune and Jupiter has been doing that along with Jupiter has been in retro, was in retrograde from April till about August, the first part of August. So that revisited some expansion before in 2018. And now it's teaching us some authentic things, uh, authenticity and discipline and trust and intuition, even with the shifts that's been going on along with Neptune and family and relationships and such. All right. But now they're squaring off and we got the other planets coming in. So we're wrapping up this year with a lot of things coming together. All right. So this is very important for us to know that, you know, is encouraging us to be disciplined, trust in our intuition and step into our own truth. Be authentic. You know, be who you are and trust who you are. And you can't be no other person but you. So what that's mean that you've been reshaped and reformed. And every, all this year, you've just been feeling a lot of pulling and tugging and pulling and tugging. And molding and shaping and molding and shaking, shaping. Like you got some Play-Doh. <laughs> and somebody's been pushing and pushing and pushing the eyes and shifting you around and molding you. Because it's preparing you for the next stage. All right. So count that as... A great experience this year. You know, it hasn't been as traumatic as some people have experienced last year. But this year, a lot of people are getting a lot of sudden things happening, like loss of jobs, different things. And then, boom, they go into another job because they're going through instant transformation. And if you kind of remember the past several months, we had a couple of conversations about that. And every new moon and full moon, we've been talking about transformation, transformation. All right, so click that wiggly bell down below, ding dong ding, to make sure you're getting the daily fresh tarot card reading that comes to you on a daily basis. Don't forget that we do offer, and I always share this every single read, every single video about intuitive readings. I am, I offer intuitive readings. I am a, a, a well endowed intuitive reader. Um, I'm a clair, I'm clairvoyant and a medium so the, in, the intuitive readings come from the other side of messages that come through from your angels and spirit guides and sometimes those that have transitioned on and they decide that hey i want to interrupt and come into the reading to share some things to validate also too that i am a spiritual counselor so if you see a ecliptic spiritualist i am a spiritual counselor from 20 plus plus years, 20 plus years. So it helps for you to get a reading and diagnostic readings and come and share about your experience in a private consultation so you can be led and guided in a direction that you should go and not continue the way that you're going or continue the way you're going if you're satisfied with that, but get some points, uh, tidbits, and how to better assess the area in your life and to be better. Okay, and to grow and go because that's what we're here and sent to do, right? So don't forget that we offer conjure work that will spell change your life. That is spell work, but we call it conjure work because it is working. Okay, it's beautiful areas in every single of your life that we can deal with. Okay, so contact us for law, money, relationships, and um, so much, much more. You know, luck. I mean, student type things to sweeten in other people, to sweeten in yourself. Because sometimes we're immediately going after someone else. And sometimes we need to be doing the work on ourselves. Yes, you can do spell work, have it done on yourself so it can be in heightened. Even though you're doing spell work in areas. But lots of times my clients always notice shifts in themselves as well. They're like, wow, I feel better in some areas. I'm not as this. I say, yeah, that's the angels working on your behalf. Okay, so... And saying that, have a great and lovely Friday. Um, stay tuned for a new moon um, discussion, a video on what is the new moon and what does it do for us before we get ready next week to get into the new moon rituals and intentions because we're in the last quarter of the um, month, last quarter of the month, meaning of the moon. So if you are a 
follow on Instagram, you'll see me post a video on the last quarter in the story timeline. And you'll see how beautiful the moon was out this morning at 530 during my meditation time as I get outdoors and get part of nature. All right. So I'll see you next time. Have a great and productive, magical Friday. <laughs> and comment down below if you'd like to have certain videos done. You can always email me. Donate to the channel as well. Don't forget to do that and invest and circulate your money. We don't spend money, right? We're circulating so it can go into good seed and good ground so it can take root and grow and go into your life, okay? Because some of you have been told to do that in your spirit to donate to the channel because um, I do know that you're getting good information because it helps me as well doing the channel um, because the readings be pertaining to me as well, all right? See you next time. Bye-bye.